Anunnaki extraterrestrial message, an incredible text first revealed in 1958 before the work of Zachariah Sitchin. Oh, we shouldn't be surprised. We have a lot of legends about star people coming from the heavens, from the skies, and landing on earth. Even the Greek gods of Mount Olympus were the uh, extraterrestrials, according to them. So before the work of Zachariah Sitchin, an incredible text reveals what the Anunnaki message was. The history of humankind has always been a hot topic for discussion among historians and mainstream scientists who claim that we are the result of evolution. At the same time, ancient astronauts theorists argue that humanity was created by the ancient gods who visited Earth in the distant past. Author Zachariah Sitchin used to argue about the genetic intervention in humans' DNA by the ancient astronauts, an extraterrestrial race. He suggested that Anunnaki were the alien race who had arrived on Earth for gold from the mystical planet known as Nibiru, located beyond Neptune. We are already here among you. Some of us have already been here with you, yet apart from watching and occasionally guiding you whenever the opportunity arose. Now, however, our numbers have been increasing in preparation for a further step in the development of your planet, a step of which you are not yet aware. We have been confused with the gods of many world religions, although we are not gods, but your fellow creatures, as you will learn directly before many more years have passed. You will find records of our presence in the mysterious symbols of ancient Egypt, where we had made ourselves known in order to accomplish certain ends. Our principal symbol appears in the religious art of your present civilization and occupies a position of importance upon the great seal of your country. Parenthesis, the United States of America. It has been preserved in certain secret societies founded originally to keep alive the knowledge of our existence and our intentions towards mankind. End quote. The above written text is an alleged message of the Anunnaki published in November-December 1958 editions of Flying Saucer magazine. According to Brinsley Le Poer Trench, an ed editor of Flying Saucer Review, the text first appeared in a November 1947 issue. 1947, you remember, it was the year of Roswell, E.T. and uh, UFO crash. So that was July of 47. This um, a text appeared in November 1947, issue of Fantastic Stories USA. It was published under the pseudonym of Alexander Blade. This outlandish message was made available only for a few months after the well-known Roswell incident, as we said. Further, the text discusses the ancient gods' interaction with prehistoric humans and talked about their advanced machines and how humanity progressed with the help of ancient Anunnaki who mainly established their headquarters in Egypt. Quote, We have left you certain landmarks, placed carefully in different parts of the globe, but most prominently in Egypt, where we established our headquarters upon the occasion of our last overt, or, as you would say, public appearance. At that time, the foundations of your present civilization were laid in the earth, and the most ancient of your known landmarks established by means that would appear as miraculous to you now as it did to the pre-Egyptians so many thousands of years ago. Since that time, the whole art of building in stone has become symbolic to many of you of the work in hand, the building of the human race towards its perfection. End quote. It doesn't say here how many thousands of years ago, notice. Now, when archaeologists discovered the library in Nineveh in 1850s, they found over 30,000 clay tablets written in cuneiform with different stories, histories, and magical texts, letters, medical texts, government documents, and fragments of documents. These tablets are the most important source of knowledge about ancient Mesopotamia. When the tablets were translated, they showed amazing similar stories as found in the Judeo-Christian Bible. They have stories about the Great Flood as well as Adam and Eve. Interestingly, all these stories have preceded with the ancient Sumerians. The mystical, the mystical message of Anunnaki says that our ancestors knew Anunnaki as preceptors and friends, along with moral and physical development, 
humans develop the means of destroying themselves. Our civilization is not the first that have achieved so much and would not be the last. The message continues saying this, quote, Some of you have seen our advance guard already. You have met us often in the streets of your cities, and you have not noticed us. But when we flash through your skies in the ancient tradition vehicles, Vimanas, you are amazed, and those of you who open your mouths and tell of what you have seen are accounted dupes and fools. Actually, you are prophets, seers, and the true sense in the true sense of the world, the word. You in Kansas and Oklahoma, you in Oregon and in California and, and Idaho, you know what you have seen. Do not be dismayed by meteorologists. Their business is the weather. One of you says, I saw a torpedo-shaped object. Another says, disc-like objects. Some of you say spherical objects or platter-like objects. You are all reporting correctly and accurately that you saw what you saw, and in most cases you are describing the same sort of vehicle." End quote. The topic of Anunnaki gods became a sensation due to the research and books of controversial author Zachariah Sitchin. According to him, Anunnaki modified the DNA of prehistoric humans 450,000 years ago by mixing their genes with them and putting them into labor for mining Earth's natural resources such as gold. We even know that monatomic gold is referred to in the uh, Old Test the Genesis of the Old Testament. We don't even know why it's referred to. Anyway, he says here that the planet Nibiru had a long elliptical orbit and comes near to Earth every 3,600 years. Further, he stated that the planet was inhabited by technologically advanced human-like species taller than us. Around 450,000 years ago, they got attracted by the gold reserves in Southeast Africa. According to a 2013 study, Harvard geneticist David Rake examined the genome of the Neanderthals and another group of ancient hominin known as the Denisovans, both of which were cohabitants of humans. He found out that their DNA dates back to more than 400,000 years, and they contain some unknown genes known as junk DNA, a term that was first used in the 1960s. Interestingly, the DNA experiment by Greg Braddon, an American New Age author and scientist, we are utilizing only 22 of the 64 codons of our DNA, thus suggesting that our DNA was genetically manipulated were they from the Anunnaki. And this is on News Tangential 24. I'll leave a link for you. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.